What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I am back with another build in the Minecraft Amusement Park. This build is going to be called Enter the Ender Dragon. Basically, the reason that this build uh, came about, I received a comment in one of the uh, Minecraft Amusement Park builds. I didn't go through and look and see which one, so whoever made that comment, I apologize ahead of time. But they had said that I should build a roller coaster that goes into a monster's mouth. So initially I thought about trying to build like my own Godzilla and then call the coaster Godzilla and then I went, no, why don't I just build the Ender Dragon and make a really badass coaster? And that is exactly what I did. So let's take a deep dive look into this build. Alright, so as you guys can see here, this coaster is absolutely just insane. There are parts of it that kind of defy the laws of physics, kind of like up here by the wings. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take this build and really make it just awesome. So first off, as you can see, the, uh, the dragon itself is pretty much to scale. Um, it kind of depends which angle you look at from will depend on how well it, or how good it looks. Um, but pretty much from this angle, this is where I use, this is the angle I used a majority for, um, looking at, uh, an image of the Ender Dragon to try to get it exactly right, and I think it looks really good. I decided to go with this, uh, purplish pink color for the, uh, the track because it matches the, the eyes so well of the Ender Dragon. Because, you know, the, uh, the Ender Dragon and the Enderman, they have a specific type of color in their eyes, and this is what I found to be the closest option, so I really think it just kind of pops. The one thing I do want to show you guys before we go into the coaster is something on the inside, because I really don't think you get a good view when you go past it the first time. But this on the inside is going to be... I built my own little... Um, miniature version of the uh, the end itself obviously it's not very big but when you're just riding on the coaster it it looks pretty sweet um, but I'm gonna save that full view here for the uh, the actual ride so I'm gonna I'll go over here I'm gonna hop on the coaster and we're gonna take it for a ride all right guys now that we are on the coaster let's see how this bad boy looks so first we go through that little section there with the two ender dragon heads on the top Personally, I think that does look really cool. It just kind of really kind of sets it up for when you're going through it. You really kind of know what you're going to get. It's going to obviously have to do with the Ender Dragon. So we got our big first drop here. And then this bad boy will keep bringing us around. And this is the my favorite part where you uh, ride into the dragon's mouth. It's going to bring you into this really pitch black section. And then here is where you're going to go into that miniature version of the end. And I think just as you go past it, it looks really sweet how I've got the different pillars, um, different sizes, kind of just based on how the uh, the end looks. And then we're going to go in through here. And this is where we go out the tail. Drop down. And then over here, we loop around real quick. And then we've got a nice little section here that you can really kind of get to see everything. It looks pretty sweet. And then here's where we're going to go up one of the back legs keep going up and then here is where we're going to head up our first wing so right now we're going up underneath the wing a little bit of a drop here here's where i say it kind of defies uh, the laws of physics a little bit just based on how it's connected to the wing we go down this wing across the center back up this wing and then we're going to do the exact same route just in the opposite way we're going to go down and then now we're actually going to go back up and then back down and then once we get past this section this is where it really kind of starts to feel like a real roller coaster again because then we get past that point we go up here we got a nice high up uh, half loop here where you can really kind of get a nice view of everything and then we're gonna go back down and then here is where we're just gonna go through like this Nice little cross section. I like these cross sections like this just because of how fast your uh, the coaster, or the minecart moves across it. For whatever reason, when they're alternating back and forth really fast, it just slides across diagonally really well. And then we're going to go up, back up here. Half loop to the side, last little drop. And then we'll bring her right around here. Tight to corner. And there is the end of the coaster. All right, guys, so this is going to be my Ender Dragon coaster, or as I like to call it, Enter the Ender Dragon. I really hope you guys like this build. I think it turned out absolutely awesome. 
in my opinion, I would argue, I would say it's, it's arguably got to be, might be the best build on the amusement park so far, honestly. And I think the big reason is because, number one, it's just, with having the dragon in there, it just looks so huge. But I think the big part of it is, is that because it's Minecraft, anybody who's ever played Minecraft, or I would say, gotta be almost everybody, knows what the dra Ender Dragon looks like. I mean, t damn, most of them have beaten the Ender Dragon, so they definitely know what he looks like. Um, but I just think just the fact that you can just easily see the Ender Dragon and then it has a roller coaster that's just completely mended with it, I think it looks absolutely awesome. So with that being said, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to take a look at my Patreon, my online store, all those links are going to be down in the description. And most importantly, if you guys have any really awesome ideas for this amusement park so I can get this finished and then I can have it up for download so you guys can all download it and experience it yourselves, definitely comment it down below in this video. Obviously, if you comment a pretty cool idea, I'm going to make it. I feel bad that I didn't wasn't able to figure out the username for who gave me this. So if it was you, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, you got any awesome ideas, guys, definitely comment them down below, and I will do my best to get them done as soon as possible. With that being said, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.